Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. Yes, my hair is wet because I was just in the shower and it's just a <clears throat> hot, sweaty mess out here in Brooklyn. I guess all over New York. Anyway, um, I have more birthday stuff to show you. So it's going to be, I'm just going to mix stuff up in this video because why the hell not, you know. So I didn't show you what the bad enabler got me for my birthday. And I also picked up some stuff today, which is... I guess birthday but not really uh, so let me show you what he got me so the first thing that he picked up for me is um, which I wanted was uh, season he got me season one and season two of the BBC's uh, Sherlock and this was is with Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman and absolutely love this series to death um, it was on Netflix and then they took it off I was hoping since I hinted in one of my videos that I really wanted this DVD set that he was going to get me the whole series which is four seasons not two but he only got me two seasons so I'm gonna have to fill in the rest on my own he said he only saw two seasons for sale which I sent him a link to the one with the all the seasons but anyway it doesn't make a difference so the reason i wanted the entire series is because they had a bundle that had the whole series with the movie that they did which was called the abominable bride and that is my absolute favorite favorite of the whole entire show series whatever so he did pick up these two for me i'm gonna fill in the rest unless the boyfriend got me season three and season four i don't know so i ended up picking up myself um the abominable bride uh that's what that looks like uh and you won't understand like they do a, a a review of the Sherlock series if you haven't seen it but you really should watch the series in order to be able it it's better if you watch the series because it would be hard to like follow the story without having some sense of what the series was about so yeah the abominable bride that was my gift to me and then the bad neighbor got me this was he came up with this whole thing so it says, surely not everybody was kung fu fighting. So, yeah. If I ever get myself to the gym, this is what I'm going to be wearing. Surely not everybody was kung fu fighting. Um, so, he got me that. And then he got me these two things at first. When I saw this, I was like, what the hell is this? It comes in a little baggie, right? So, let's take it out of the bag. Um, so... It's a makeup bag. I got that. But then I was like, what is KACL AM 780 Talk Radio? I was like, what is that? And then I realized it was Frasier. It's Frasier. There's the Seattle skyline. And that's the radio station that Frasier is on that he does his show. I really have to, while I'm on vacation. Oh, and it's, it's black inside and it's roomy. Um, I really have to start rewatching Frasier again because such a great series um one of my absolute favorites so yeah that was nice to get a, a makeup bag that says k-a-c-l you know my ocd i have to put this back in oh it's double-sided it's double-sided so that's cool um so that was very thoughtful like I, I swear when i saw it i was like i didn't get what it was at first i was like what radio what why what so yeah duh and then he got me this tote bag. It's a Fraser tote bag. I didn't open it. This is the Fraser alphabet. And this is A for antique chess set, B for beluga caviar, C for cafe nervosa, D for dukes, E for Eddie, uh, and it, <laughs> I for I'm listening. Um, yeah, I, it's got all like A to Z of Fraser, and it's just so cute. Um, yeah, it's it's really really cute so, veneer v is for veneer remember that episode oh my god they're watching martin who's the father and frazier and niles are watching antique road show and they have to take a shot every time somebody says veneer oh it's so cool it really is it, it has like it encapsulates the whole series um so really, really cute tote bag. I don't want to take it out of the wrapping because I'm not ready to use it yet. But uh, yeah, it's, it's just, it's super cool. So very happy with that. So that's what he got me. 
Then I was out today and you know, I should have waited to get a makeup blending sponge instead of spending $4.99 on one sponge, a uh, one wet and wild sponge from um, Target because I found this today. They had all different shaped ones. I mean, all different shaped containers. This one has a little doggy on it and it has four makeup sponges, four beauty blenders. And this was $4.99 for four. I knew I was overpaying. So there's that. I also picked up, I found this on the, while I was waiting online, these 70 calorie skinny rice bars. You know, I don't like to keep snacks in the house, but you know, for emergencies. And this says, supposedly, if you have one of these, which is 70 calories, 30 minutes before any meal, it's supposed to curb your appetite. So we'll see. Uh, and then I picked up in, uh, I want to save the best for last. Um, so I picked up another little tree and this is in true North. I don't know what this smells like. I'm just guessing it smells like North. So I don't know. Uh, I got this in Walgreens for a dollar. I needed to pick up a new eyebrow pencil. I didn't do my eyebrows yet. I did my, my eye makeup, but I didn't do my eyebrows because I have brow brown brow pencil and I now my hair looks more black so when I put on the brown pencil it looks ridiculous so I had to go and get myself a black uh pencil this is from wet and wild this was like two two dollars and something uh in Walgreens and then I had to get my I you know I went through a whole bag of these when I was sick with bronchitis I would like to have these in the house this expires for 2025 the giant bag of cough drops. There's 200 drops in here. And believe it or not, I did go through an entire bag of these. Um, you know, it took me a while, but it's, I, I like having these in the house. And the Walgreens brand, the Walgreens brand is just as good as the Halls brand. I don't see any difference. Actually, I think I like the Walgreens brand, brand better. Then, um, I got some disinfecting wipes because I just ran out. I keep a, a jar of disinfecting wipes in my desk at work and I just used up the last of my disinfecting wipes, which were the Lysol or the Clorox brand, but I wanted to be cheap. So I picked up the Nice brand from uh, Walgreens. This is Kills Cold and Flu Virus, um, multi-purpose disinfecting wipes, 35 wipes. This was like $2.99, something like that. Um, Make sure they didn't dry out. Um, yeah, so I have to keep these on my desk at work. I don't have to, but I do uh, to wipe down my um, computer, uh, excuse me, computer screen, um, desk, keyboard, phone, everything. Then I need it. I want to separate part of what I'm going to do on my vacation is separate my Bath and Body Works collection by season. So I needed some more baskets, obviously. Um, and I want to put the summer stuff in here. So I found these baskets. These were like $3 and something, which is reasonable considering how much, you know, some places charge for these damn baskets. So I got these, uh, two basket weave baskets and I'm going to put my summer stuff in here and whatever I put in these baskets for summer scents, I'm going to use them up, use it up. So then the last thing that I picked up is I got a purse. You guys know I'm a backpack girl, but you know, sometimes like I have a backpack because I have to carry all my work crap with me, paperwork, notebooks, all kinds of stuff. But when I'm on vacation or if I'm just going out to like dinner or something, I don't need to be hauling all that crap with me. So I found this really, I found this really cute bag. It's kind of weird. It reminds me, it looks like a tongue isn't it? It's this peach bag. It's like a faux leather. Um, it has a zipper compartment here and then it opens here with the snap closure. It has really good texture to it. It's a uh, crossbody bag. I love the strap. So the strap is like, I don't know. It's like this boho type bag. It's like hippie like, and I really, really like it. So there's that. This was only 20, how much was this? I think it was 
This was $24.99. And then inside it has like a wristlet, which is like inside it has pockets. You have your pockets, you have a short strap. This has a lot of stuff. So you can wear this back, this uh, backpack. You can wear this bag a few different ways. You can wear it as a crossbody, which is what I like. It does come with an extra strap if you just want to wear it as just like a shoulder bag, which is handy dandy to have that. And then it comes with this. Oh no! Is that if you want to want as a shoulder bag? Yeah. And I thought you could use it for this, or you could. Okay. So you could turn this bag into a shoulder bag, or you could take this little thing that's inside, it has these little hooks on it, and make yourself a, like an even smaller, an even smaller wristlet bag. So it's like a bag within a bag. So you can do this all kinds of ways, which is very cool. So it's like multi-purpose. Anyway. Although the zipper, okay. So, but the only thing is, I mean, it's nice for the summer, but I really should get something. I should have gotten like beige or they only had this color. They only had one. And this is by this company adorned made in China. This is strange. It says, listen to this. It says, thank you for purchasing your new bag from Adorn. This bag has been made with love. Due to the nature of the materials, some odor may be present upon unwrapping your bag. Upon arrival, please remove from bag, no, please remove the bag from its packaging to allow time for it to air out. We suggest 24 to 48 hours before use as odors may exist due to the nature of the materials, processing, and storage. It smells like fish. I didn't smell this before I bought it because who smells their, the inside of their bag before they buy it? It does smell like fish. Oh, that smells like fish. What content of the materials? Oh dear Lord. Okay, so I'm gonna have to leave this bag open and not use it for 48 hours. I wanted to use it for my birthday, but it smells like fish. Oh, ew. Does that mean everything I put in this bag would smell like a fish? That's gross. I'm going to have to like Febreze this. I'm definitely going to have to Febreze it. There's, um, I'm going to take this stuff out of it. I'm going to open this and let this air out. Does this smell like fish too? Yes. So I'm going to have to let this bag air out. Yikes. All right. Well, what I was going to say was they only had it in that coral color. But really, that's only good for the spring and the summer. You can't really... Well, I mean, it's orange, so I guess Halloween. I guess it's good for autumn. If you take the strap off, because the strap is definitely uh, summer. But if you're doing... I don't know. I guess it's good for fall. It's it's like... I don't know. You guys tell me. I wish it... I wish, I wish it didn't smell like a fish. Oh, that's terrible. That sounds dirty. Anyway, um, remember to comment, rate, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Shopping and Sense. And, whoa, and I will see you all in a future video. But until then, goodbye, everyone out there in YouTube land.